You work too much. You were meant to do this. It comes naturally to you. You should take a day off. How do you stay motivated? Before I picked up a camera for the first time over eight years ago, I had no post-secondary education and no job references. The only thing that I had going for me was that I had good work ethic. If I really enjoyed doing something, I would spend an obsessive amount of time on that one thing. The problem was, I felt I had no purpose for a future career path that I could unleash this work ethic onto. Eight years ago when I picked up a camera for the first time, things just clicked. And from there on out, I was dialed. I don't think people are destined to do one thing in life. I believe that once motivation is sparked from something that makes you happy, you capitalize on that one thing and sink every ounce of energy into it. Even if your hobby or passion isn't paying your bills at first, if you continue to work on your passion day in and day out, there will always be a way to monetize. As I said before, I've committed the past eight years of my life to this journey and it hasn't always been easy, especially when handling the mental strain of what it means to be a filmmaker. Deadlines creep up on you, sacrifice time with friends and family, clients are paying you real money so the expectations are always high, the most obscure work hours which I'm sure most freelancers and business owners can relate to. When things get stressful, when you start to question whether or not any of this is even worth pursuing anymore, ask yourself why you got into this in the first place. Ask yourself why it's 1 in the morning and you don't want to leave that editing program to get an extra couple hours of sleep. Ask yourself why you have an attitude of determination and dedication towards your one's hobby that has turned into a career path. That, my friend, is work ethic. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little cinematic video, which by the way, was filmed entirely off of the iPhone 12 Pro Max with a Sandmark anamorphic lens. When we were sent this anamorphic iPhone lens by Sandmark, it was actually a lot of fun shooting that little intro cinematic with an iPhone as it was just so stress-free compared to using our rigged out red Komodo, which requires a lot of lighting, C-stands, more C-stands, tripods, using up hundreds of gigabytes for the most simple shot or shoot. If you have a camera that uses CFast cards, you know exactly what I mean. But at the end of the day, being asked to review this Sandmark iPhone lens actually got me to create something fun and different from what I usually create and just totally have fun with it. If you're watching this video, you either are looking up reviews to purchase this lens or are trying to figure out how to properly use this lens on your iPhone. Two things. One, you need to rotate the lens until these two lines perfectly align from the phone case to the lens. Make sure these don't get bumped around while you're filming or before you press record because your footage will look a little wonky. Second thing to note, you will need to de-squeeze the footage in post. I know Final Cut Pro 10 and DaVinci Resolve both have de-squeeze effects built into their programs and you can choose how much you want the squeeze to be. This is what the footage looks like with zero post de-squeezing. And this is what it looks like when you de-squeeze at 1.33 anamorphic. Another thing I would recommend when using these lenses to get the most out of them is to film using the Filmic Pro app on your iPhone. This enables you to adjust things like your shutter speed, ISO, and aperture values. I really like how you can film in 4K 10-bit in 24fps when using the Filmic Pro app, so you can push your color grading in post a little further and not have the footage break apart as easily. The most important part about using a third-party app like Filmic Pro in tandem with the Sandmark anamorphic iPhone lens is that it has a pre-built-in de-squeeze for the 1.33 crop and the 1.55 crop anamorphic. This will give you an accurate look at what your shot is going to look like and will create those cinematic anamorphic flares. Now I gotta say, the build quality is super dope. This lens looks badass. They also send you a super clean phone case which is required to mount your Sandmark anamorphic lens onto your phone. I love the fact that you literally just screw the lens onto your phone and aren't using a clip of some sorts that can be knocked around really easily. So I'll do that for you guys right now. So literally all you do is um, find the one there, there it is, rotate it on. So basically when you mount this, um, you mount the anamorphic Sandmark lens onto your phone and there's a little dial or a little notch or line on the lens. And if you look on the side of the case, there is also a little line on there as well on the side of the case. So you just perfectly align the 
lens mark with the phone case mark and boom, that's perfectly aligned. That simple. Now this kit does come with a little clip. However, I would just rather screw the lens onto here because if you're shooting something, let's say you're maybe shooting on a gimbal and you're filming with the anamorphic sandmark lens and you have the clip and let's say your hand just like easily, like it can happen really easily. Your hand bumps the, um, the clip and then it throws the lens off and maybe it causes a little vignette on the left or right or top or bottom and it screws up your footage a little bit. So like personally for me, I would just run the iPhone case with the threaded or like the pre-threaded um, threads on each lens and just toss the Sandmark anamorphic lens or any Sandmark lens onto your iPhone case. And it's just so easy, like it's on there, like it's really on there. Like you literally screw it into the threads. I couldn't be more stoked on how cool this is. It's just the fact that you can actually just straight up screw a lens onto your iPhone. I think that's pretty dope, it's pretty badass. And I'm not gonna lie, the phone case is so clean looking that I've just left it on my phone indefinitely. Again, solid design by the Sandmark team. iPhone lens attachments have come a very long way. When I first picked up a camera for the very first time, I used a Canon T3i and this was about eight years ago. And the Canon T3i brand new with a kit lens cost around 600 to $800. The fact that people have access to aftermarket lens attachments for their phones that actually give you a very high quality look off of a cell phone video is pretty game changer and these tools are things I wish I had when I first picked up a camera and started filmmaking. These days, everyone has a cell phone in their pocket and Sandmark creates iPhone lenses dating all the way back to the iPhone 7, so people really don't have any excuse to procrastinate on wanting to get into the realm of cinematography. To be completely honest guys, companies like Sandmark are creating a bigger impact than we know on the up and coming creative community as a whole. All in all, I really do recommend the Sandmark anamorphic lens. As you guys know, we use the red Komodo and yeah, we use cinema cameras and expensive lighting and we don't really take iPhone videos, but this is an amazing piece of equipment for filmmakers like ourselves who could use this to capture high quality behind the scenes of our film sets to post on our Instagram stories. And even besides being a full-time filmmaker like myself who does it for a living, or let's say you're just somebody that wants to just kind of dabble in it, you know, dip your toes in the whole scene of filmmaking. So, you know, you just get an iPhone um, lens and attach it to your iPhone and go and create. Um, this is also an awesome piece of affordable gear to have if you're maybe an influencer who captures a lot of B-roll with an iPhone. It's not a big investment like a mirrorless camera body lens, SD card, etc. But this piece of gear will give you a very good introduction as to how lenses can better tell a story with video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to purchase this Sandmark anamorphic lens, I'll leave a link at the top of the description down below. With all that being said, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.